Hello there and welcome back to Siberia, the world before. Um, I took a small break from playing, but I remember that we played as Dana Rose. Oh, it's last. dazzling up here. I can see why they call it the Silberspiegel. Silber means silver and Spiegel is mirror. The silver mirror. It certainly lives up to its name. Uh, correct. Yeah, and uh, now we are supposed to explore the the refuge. Oh, it's dazzling up oh, here. Oops. I, I can see why they call thing. it the Silberspiegel. Silber means silver, and Spiegel is mirror. Um, the silver mirror. It certainly lives up to its name. Yeah, because now we are looking. Uh, we are basically in the present now, <laughs> and we are looking for. Um, clues anything on the remains of Dana Rose or where she went There's a cap blocking the view there must be a way of removing it please insert coin well, I don't have a coin okay I think it was for free in the past <laughs> now we have to pay for it nope no coin okay Oh, maybe we can find one. Oh yeah, the objective. Uh, find Junta's coffer in the attic. Find out about the region and its history before you open Junta's coffer. Okay, so that's the optional thing. Which I'm gonna try to do. Go down. Sure, let's go down. That must lead to the other side of the circus. Circus? The authorities have closed the path due to excavation works on the other side of the mountain. Suits me. I wasn't exactly planning on climbing a mountain today anyway. Notice. Danger. Path closed. Due to a recent discovery at the foot of the passage known as Devil's Pass, this path has been closed to facilitate excavation works. In order to prevent any risk of accident and to ensure public safety, access to Devil's Pass is strictly prohibited until further notice. Wagen Mountains National Park Authority. Mm, nothing to look around. No. Yeah. I have a feeling though that we're gonna end up going there anyway. <laughs> Eventually. Okay, so I guess we're going... we're gonna go inside now. Maintaining the refuge must be a huge job. As tough as Lenny is, I hope she has some help when she needs it. Yeah, I'm really hoping that there's gonna be a little more mm, puzzles. Uh, in the future. That must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. Because I love puzzle solving. And so far I'm missing it a little bit. Oh, and there's a person. Reminds me of Hans's automatons in Valadilene. No idea who that is. I thought she was alone up here. Ah, I see I'm not the only one stuck here. Come on. Ah, pull up a seat and together we can moan about being stuck here. Hmm. Thank you, but uh, I have things There's to do. There's a French accent though. I hope you can stay until this evening at least. Is it Amon? <laughs> in London they have the changing of the guard. Here we get the changing of the colors. I guarantee it's worth the wait. Hmm? English? American, actually. Oh, seeing as you've come so far, then. Besides, it's always nicer to be stranded in good company. From Belgium, myself, on a world climbing tour. Stranded? 
Didn't you know? They've closed the Teufelskragen. That's the path they call the Devil's Pass. So that's what all the fuss is about. All down to climate change. You mean the thaw, right? Made the path too dangerous to climb and apparently resulted in a morbid discovery. Oh? Oh? Bodies of resistance fighters killed while leading refugees to Switzerland. Frozen solid. Resistance fighters? You mean frozen since the Second World War? Uh, that's what the paper says. Is that what the tent's for? It's a temporary chapel of rest that the rescue team made while waiting for the bodies to be airlifted out. A tent? I see. I guess there's no reason to disrespect the departed, even after all these years. I only hope all this sudden interest from excavationists puts an end to the stupid rumors that a strange creature haunts the Zilberspiegel. Otherwise, you can be sure, as soon as the old lady pops her clogs, this place will become run over by those infernal tourists. Can you tell me about this Devil's Pass? Oh, it's on the far side of the Cirque, looking out from the terrace. As you can imagine, it's called Devil's Pass because it's extremely dangerous. Most of all because of the risk of avalanche. Only seasoned alpinists can negotiate it, really. As a professional alpinist myself, what I love about it is knowing I'm climbing in the tracks of courageous climbers of bygone times. There's a real sense of uh, history about it. For example, resistance fighters used it during the war to smuggle vagherons and uh, other victims of the Brown Shadow into Switzerland. Is that the path they've closed that leads from the refuge? That's right. Thought so. I saw the notice. They've blocked it off so the helicopter can airlift the frozen bodies from the bottom of the pass. Meantime, they have set up a temporary chapel of rest, as you can see. Well, that's moving. It's important to show respect, even after all these years. I've had some experience with fantastic fauna myself. But what do you make of the so-called strange creature that roams the mountain? <laughs> Just another local fairy tale to pull in the tourists, if you ask me. They say it lives in prehistoric caves. <laughs> and that it's responsible for people going missing. Ooh. Some even say that the mysterious cries you can hear on some nights are the creature calling for a mate. In other words, the usual twaddle you normally get in remote or uncharted places like uh, the high mountain or the deep sea. <laughs> Twaddle passed down from generation to generation, through sheer ignorance. Surely, from what I read on the way here, the cries could come from an animal native to the area, couldn't they? That is my thinking exactly. No doubt a bear with something caught in his throat. <laughs> it happens, you know. <laughs> Probably scared a tourist one evening, or... Uh, hmm. Maybe it was young pranksters. What about those frozen bodies they discovered at the foot of Devil's Pass? Well, um, due to climate change, the snow line has receded, revealing the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War. Most probably resistance fighters and exiles, trying to flee the fascist occupiers and reach Switzerland by the pass. Hmm? I imagine they got caught in an avalanche. Poor wretches have been imprisoned ever since. Until today. That is why the authorities have blocked access to the pass, so they can take the bodies out, identify them, and give them a proper burial. Right. Thanks for cluing me in. Anyway, I better get back to what I was doing. <laughs> you are welcome, Fräulein. A monster? Well... Wow. 
I don't think there's much to look at down here. A mechanical stove. Seen better days. Hm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. Oh, wait. There's something here to look at. Don't go up yet. Lenny's father must have made this stair lift to help her get up and down the stairs. Must have taken him many hours. It's touching when you think about it. Okay. That's it. Oh, let's go up. Wait. Still have to find out about the region. And the history. <laughs> Mm. Interact. An old <laughs> book? The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann? Funny. My grandparents left me a copy before they died when I was a kid. I should get around to reading it someday. Ah, oh, it's the the lift. Oh no. Okay. The stairs, I see. So now we can go upstairs to the attic. Oh my god, but there's such a big area here. This must be Lenny's room. Not sure I'm allowed in here, really. Me, whatever. Mm, I think we read that in the past about the Leon uh, winning something, the skiing tournament. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. Sweet. Photos of the refuge. Looks like they're arranged by time period. These date from before the war. There's even one from the summer when Dana worked at the refuge. There are no photos of the occupation of Wagen by the Brown Shadow. I guess that corresponds to when Lenny and her father had to leave the refuge. I don't know, it always tells me to look around with like here the um, right click, right mouse click. If there's nothing to look around, like I can't even move the camera that far, so. Seems a little uh, unnecessary. All these photos go up to the 80s, including my date of birth. So this is now This series ends mm. at 2002, three years ago, when I began my journey with Oscar and Hans's train. Another it's pretty impressive. Automaton. Obviously helps Lenny get up and about. Cool. I would like to see it in action. Um oh wait, there was something. She's still sitting there watching. Wonder what she's thinking about. Yeah, I wonder if she's living alone here. I mean, it looks like she's living here alone. She's um, has like that one single room with one bed. So no husband, no family, no children. That is kind of sad. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, this looks like some kind of storage. Austere. Looks like a storage room. Mmm, it's cold in here. Somebody's been smoking. A client, maybe? Unless Lenny likes to sneak a smoke. So that's the painting Dana mm. told Lenny's father to buy. Not bad. It's the one and that I picked. similar in style to my painting. Wonder what the others were like. Oh, it's there. Open. But who could have left it open? Well, the smoker, obviously. Uh, wait a moment. I think the camera angle changed and now I'm confused. Yeah, I wanted to go here. Oh, but there's nothing here, I see. Just looks like a hallway, but it's blocked. Turn around. <laughs> oh my god. How do I... How do I turn the, the camera around now? Wait, maybe if I go back and then... And then... Walk over there again. <laughs> okay, now. Or maybe it's just the end of the corridor. And there's nothing there. Okay. <laughs> Dormitories. I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. It doesn't really look like there are many people here. Everything looks pretty shabby and messy. What's this? Take up reel. Like the ones used on old cinema projectors. Oh, maybe it's the movie that uh, the, what's her name, Junta, <laughs> took of Leon on the. Paris balcony. Something. Don't want to break my neck, thank you very much. So that's the coffer. We still have to find out some things about the past. For Alberg Manufacturing Valadilen, 3rd September 1945. Dear Herr Gustav Renner, with regard to your letter of 3rd August, we are pleased to inform you that Vorarlberg Manufacturing would be honored to assist your daughter Leni uh, following the tragic events that resulted in her disability. Oh yeah, we don't even know how she ended up in the wheelchair. It's going to be interesting. Both my father and my mother, uh, brother, <laughs> Hans, would have been as admiring as I am of her selfless courage during the troubling years the old continent of Europe has recently suffered. I am doubly proud to learn that Leni is the daughter of one of our most talented former employees. It is therefore with great pleasure that Vorarlberg Manufacturing has decided to respond favorably to your request. Please find enclosed the construction plans that will allow you to adapt the entire mountain refuge to Leni's handicap. Yours sincerely, Anna Vorarlberg. Assembly drawings and their bill of materials for the construction of various mechanisms to adapt the refuge to Demoiselle's handicap. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the thingy for the staircase, the lift, the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Oh, the coin. I must remember to ask Lenny about it. Lenny Rena. 13th of April, 
A medal for acts of resistance. Okay. Uh -huh. So she was like a resistance. So much going on in these mountains. Fighter. Now and before. But I'd better get back on track or I'll end up renting a room from Demoiselle Lenny and explore the area for weeks. Why not? Sounds great. This must be Yunta's coffer. The one Lenny spoke about. Oh yes. Puzzle, finally. I can't. I'm trying to spin it, but it's not moving. I guess we have to loosen these uh, latches here. But that doesn't seem like the right. Or maybe it does. Looks it doesn't look like it belongs there, but yeah, I guess it does. Just the color is a little off here. That's the only thing I can do here. I can only move it left or right. And this is still not moving. And here? Ah, oh, okay, here I can. Oh my god. I can't see anything, it's like so... the colors are so faded and everything. <laughs> I feel like I should look through the... the telescope. Like this? Like this? Okay, kind of fits, I guess. Something like this. Like this? Yeah, it should be like this. Mm. Still not moving. Okay, maybe in the back? No, I can't look at anything in the back. I can't do anything here. This looks like maybe it should pop out. Mm. Maybe I just have to exchange some of them and not all. The ones that look right. Say, this one looks like it belongs here because it, you know, there's like the shape of the mountain. And this one looks like it's fine. I said it in the beginning. This doesn't look like it fits here. So I would leave that out. This one... Looks like it fits there, but it's hard to tell because it's quite dark. This one doesn't fit here because, like, there's blue dark here, and this is like doesn't look right. Okay, <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I assume now we haven't solved this right here. <laughs> Otherwise, the ledge would have opened. Maybe like this? Oh yeah, like this. There's the shadow here continuing. That makes sense. And this one... Hello, that looks right. So it's this one that's not right, I think.
Hold. Amazing. Now it shows the view from the terrace. Find the codes for the cover. Okay, I guess now maybe we take a look um, of the terrace. Yeah, I really want more puzzle solving like this. I that's like one thing that I like the most about these adventure games, all the puzzle solving. And I want more of it. There hasn't been much in the game yet, so please give me more. Um there's this game, it's called The Room. I think there are four parts and it's literally about that basically having like a like a puzzle box or a puzzle table or something and um, every time you solve the puzzle it kind of keeps expanding and um, yeah it's I love that it's so relaxing to do that okay let's see if we can throw the the coin into the here oh we don't even have it in the inventory what now, Fraulein? I was just about to doze off. About Yunta's coffer. What about it? Where did it come from? Where did the coffer in the loft come from? In fact, father made it himself during the long winter evenings. He wanted something more elegant and solid than the old family coffer where he kept the takings. So he made the one upstairs, thanks to the techniques he learnt when he worked in the Vorlberg factory in Valadilen. Valadilen in France? That's right. The price Junta paid was equivalent to a month's worth of takings. Money well spent, though, because it was built like a mountain fortress. You wouldn't happen to know the combination, would you? I told you before, I don't know it. Okay, but why did she leave it there? Hmm. How did you meet Leon Kobatis? Why do you ask? You from the police or something? No. I just thought I'd ask, since you seem to appreciate him. Didn't you? Fraulein, when I said you could look in the guest rooms, it didn't include my room. But yes, like I said before, he was a regular customer even before the episode with Dana. To me, he was like a movie star. What young girl wouldn't be bowled over by a young, handsome alpinist? And to top it off, an Olympic medalist? Can you tell me about the resistance medal with your name on it? Sure, I was in the resistance. Not for those medals, though. Nothing but tin charms. You see, there's those who received medals, and those that were killed. And besides, they aren't gonna give me my legs back, are they? No, but they prove you played a part in the liberation of your country. Puh, nonsense. Nothing but bad memories. I'd rather not talk about it. I'll be going then. <laughs> No one really want to know what happened. <clears throat> so, I assume then the code is on the, the film that we just found. But 
Where can I play it? Fraulein Laney will end up catching her death of cold if she stays out like that. Hmm. Find the codes for the copper. Yeah, well. <laughs> Well, let's go up. Oh, uh, yeah, I think maybe it's somewhere in that storage room. Was here? Or maybe in the... in her room. Let's check here first. Because otherwise I don't know why they put that room here. <laughs> there must be something helpful here. Austere. Looks like a storage room. Except the smoke, uh, smoking in the picture. Okay, there's nothing here. Pretty impressive. Obviously helps Lenny get up and about. Hmm. Take up reel. Like the ones used on old cinema projectors. There's coins. I can throw it in the the machine uh, machine the yeah, telescope but there's nothing here either so where can i watch that film here no oh my god so dusty and dirty hmm Dormitories. I wonder how many people stop at the refuge these days. There's something on top? No. I didn't see. Anything to play the film with. Mm. Don't want to break my neck, thank you very much. Okay, that's weird. I don't know. What am I missing? Oh, maybe I sh have to go back somewhere. Mm, to that place, the station, the tram station where we arrived. Hmm. I can't talk to her about it. Hello? It was father who mechanized all the refuge for me. Oh, wait. It won't budge. There must be a way of unblocking it somewhere else on the mechanism. Hmm. I have to put in a coin. Typical. Uh, 
Maybe this is the the code. Oh, it's gonna be the code. Like maybe I have to find the right position of the telescope and then I don't know, use the numbers. But firstly I need to open wait. Firstly I need to open that thing. So I need a coin. And then I need to watch the movie, the film, to get the hints, I guess. Anything here? That must lead to the other side of the circus. Well, I can't go there, so I don't know. I'm just gonna walk back now to the tram stop. At home there, I hope there's a... one of these old film players somewhere faster come on yeah i don't it's know it's not the time to take the tram back there's still a lot to do here okay but i'm very confused right now there's nothing <laughs> Okay, uh, I just noticed there's a new entry here. Dear, oh yeah, Wagen, November 28th, 2005. Dear Mrs. Foster, according to my latest information, Kate Walker has lost that automaton of hers she calls Oscar. By all accounts, it happened during her visit to the Müller Antique Shop. Mm, given that she's also now mourning her mother and her co-inmate, I'm beginning to wonder if Miss Walker brought some kind of curse upon herself when she fled with the late Monsieur Vorarlberg nearly three years ago. It might seem a bit far-fetched, but there's a term I once heard at a conference by my favorite crime writer, and it keeps popping into my head whenever I think of Kate Walker. In a word, hubris. It describes the arrogance and excessive pride of a person that leads them to disregard the divinely fixed limits and by seeking to avoid a tragic destiny the person ends up by provoking it i guess it's like a cruel twist of fate like that which seems to be striking kate walker she fled her old life and yet after all these misfortunes her old life must seem more present and full of regrets than ever silberspiegel but anyway Miss Walker is still on her unlikely guest to find a quest to find the woman in the picture she, f she found in that mine. My guess is she's thrown herself into this new quest to escape from her grief. Herr Müller from the antique shop told me he sent Miss Walker to the Silberspiegel refuge in the mountains near Wagen. I'll be heading out there as soon as I can. Miss Walker only has a few days head start. She may well still be there by the time I arrive. I was actually thinking when we arrived with the tram uh, on the mountain here, we saw like a person standing, hiding, uh, watching us from, I don't know, behind a tree or something. I was thinking maybe that's the, the detective, the Nick Canton. But it doesn't make sense because he would have had to be here to arrive before us, which can't... Or which is not possible if he reminds me of Hans's automatons in Valentine. We have a head start. A few days head start. Okay, now uh, back to the task. I need a mechanical stove. I need a player. Seen better days. Film player. Hmm. Another object with the look of the Varlberg workshop. Hmm. No, not up. That must be the piano Dana played on the night she met Leon. The night Lenny told me about. Oh, there's a TV here, but I don't think I can use it for that. Okay, I think I'm just gonna use the hint. And let's hope it's actually going to be helpful. The painting on the top of Junta's coffer reminds me of the view from the terrace. Hmm. 
Yes. But if you get a chance, have a look at the Zilber Spiegel at sunset. I need a coin. The colors are a marvel of nature. The meager amount I've managed to save since I escaped from the mine. And you don't have a coin in your wallet? Are you serious? Come on. Wait, maybe I can take my... Oh, maybe I can use my wallet on the... Oh god, please. Oh my god, no. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, I think this is Silberspiegel. That's the fabled Zilberspiegel. Oh, I wish I had time to watch it change color. Okay, so this is... Let me write it down. 70 and 75. But that's not... I need three digits. Um, I don't know. Actually, it's somewhere in between. It's on like 72. Yeah, but that's the only... Oh, I could take a picture. Cool. Oh, yeah, 72 degrees. Okay, but maybe I should take a look again at the... I'm just going to take a picture of everything and then I'm going to use it. I guess I don't have to write anything down. I can just take pictures. Madonna laces. That's what they call the Devil's Pass. Incredible. Okay, that could be a code here. 108. The bodies of the resistance fighters oh, that the alchemist the mentioned must be inside. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. Oh, we're gonna go there. I know it. The Hell's Gate. Nothing that's all. Yep. Okay, let's go back and compare. Oh my god, okay, I guess the film player, movie player, is in the in the coffer. This is... Oh, this is the... Zilberspiegel, isn't it? 
Devil's Pass. This one. But that's seven, two. That's not enough numbers. <laughs> oh, maybe this one. No. <laughs> the one I just... Okay. Mm. Let's try this one. First. This is the Hell's Gate, right? Home draw. Hell Gate. Seven, uh, one, two, seven. Let's try that. Devil's Peak could also be the Devil's Peak. Devil's pa Oh no, wait. Devil's Pass? What did I just... The Madonna laces? No. The Hellgates. I don't know. Let's try 072 maybe. Amazing! Now it shows the view from the terrace. This is the little bush bigger, obviously. Like, um, definitely. And this could be one of several ones. So we just tried Hellgate. Wrong. Probably this one. 108. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I'll need a key to open it. Vagen Refuge, 1937. Junta's films, taken during the summer Dana worked here. This one says Lenny, director. So I guess Lenny did get to make her film after all. A film developing company. They probably developed Yunta's films and sent them back once they were done. No doubt Yunta must have written this. Summer, 1937. The year Dana worked here. Let's see. I filled my last diary last night. Ordered another one, but still waiting for supplies to be delivered to the refuge. Using an old envelope in the meantime. Today invited Dana for a chat after her shift. Oh, that's good. me. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we're back. Uh, summer 1937. I'd like to know what Leon sees in her. I've never seen him so smitten. Thanks for popping up, Dana. How did the shift go? Fine. Same as usual. Just finishing up here, then I'll make us a nice cup of tea. Wow, that looks futuristic. What is it? Ah, that little baby is my viewer. That's why it goes in the coffer. What does it do? I use it to put together and edit the rushes. The what? <laughs> rushes. In other words, the strips of unedited footage. I've finished today's selection, so be a dear and put it in the coffer, would you? I would if I knew how. Oh, just turn the key in the lock. Time swap. Thanks to the document found in 2005 by Kate, you can relive the events of the past it describes. Use the information Dana gained in the past to progress with Kate. 
Click left mouse button on the button to swap between Kate and Dana. Oh, well, that's new. Interesting. I mean, I know this feature from different games, from other games, but it's new in this game now. So, um, anyways, I think I'm going to end this episode here for now. And yeah, we're going to continue um, in the next one. So I'll see you soon.